Hello there. Today we're going to talk about the Canon R5C, one of my favorite cameras to date that I own. It handles both photography and videography, and it's a true hybrid camera. Despite some of its flaws, it still outweighs the negatives with its positives. Today I'm going to go into a few of the reasons why I feel this is a true hybrid camera that might just be perfect for you also. Let's get started. First off, the Canon R5C is designed to be a true hybrid camera. It combines the capabilities of the Canon R5 for stills and Canon's EOS Cinema line for videography and filmmaking. Whether you're making a wedding film, shooting a documentary, a short film, this camera can handle it all. And by the way, this camera is also Netflix approved. So let's talk about photography. The Canon R5C sports the same 45 megapixel sensor pulled from its brother, the R5, creating stunning images, really crystal clear sharpness, as well as 20 frames per second continuous shooting. So it's really good for fast action shots, as well as portrait and any other photography landscape, you name it, it can handle it. Now let's switch gears and talk video. The R5C handles 8K RAW at up to 60 frames a second, which is mind blowing for a camera this small. It is a cinema camera packed in a mirrorless body. There's so many features in this. You've got high quality cinema features such as time code support, advanced audio options, as well as unlimited recording time when powered externally. One of the standout features of the R5C when I was looking into getting this camera was the dual menu. This is not just the Canon's cinema menu that is derived from the photo menu. So if you had a standard R5 or any of the R line that's not with a C on it, that's not from Canon's cinema line, you're getting that video menu that's basically the photography menu. It's very easy to use. It's not hard at all to use. It combines a professional photography camera as well as Canon's cinema line. Despite having all these features, the camera is still really lightweight. There's not much difference in weight between the Canon R5 and the Canon R5C. The only visible difference is the additional fan that they had incorporated into the body of the camera. So it makes it a little thicker. Quite honestly, I love the way this camera feels in my hand. It's very lightweight. You can use it all day, whether you're rigged out with your cinema setup and you've got your monitor on, you've got your audio connected to it. You can strip it basically right back down to just the body and a lens. And it is so portable and so easy to use. Yes, there are drawbacks to this camera and we will go into that. And the main one that most everybody complains about, including myself, is the battery life. The battery life is pretty atrocious. Now, there's a few hacks you can get out of extending the battery that you have when you're in cinema mode. I'll link a few videos below of other creators that I follow that I've adapted some of their tips throughout the course of the time I've owned this camera. But I'll also give you some peace of mind here that with any gear, you're going to have positives and you're going to have negatives. If battery life is an issue for you, you're going to have to invest in more batteries or you're just going to have to use it with an external battery pack. You can also power this through USB with a pack in your pocket and a really long USB cord. If you want to go really nimble and you don't want to have the battery pack connected to it and you just want that external power source. When you're in photography mode, think of the same kind of battery life you're going to get between your R5, your R6, the R6 Mark II, and possibly the R5 Mark II that just came out. You'll get anywhere between 700 and 1,000 photos. That is my result. I'm closer to the 650, 750 range when I'm continually shooting photos. And video-wise, I won't even go into this. There's so many tests. There's so many controlled tests. Hey, I want to I want to run a controlled test of time. How long will this camera run? There are some examples out there. Figure with the Canon battery, with the brand new LP batteries that Canon make, you'll get anywhere between 28 to 35 minutes of runtime. Now the camera is not overheating, you're running out of battery. So you'll invest in batteries or you'll invest in a battery pack. At the end of the day, if that is the only gripe out of this camera that I can find, for me, it's not an issue. You can set up your camera to have eye tracking. Now this is in the cinema mode, or you can have it box focus, whatever you want to call it. 
it's basically setting your focus point. Now this box can be centered or you can select, you can have it selectable. It's a really unique setup. Say you're focusing on something that's in the corner of the room and you want the rest of the image to have that nice background blur, depending on what f-stop you're at, t-stop, depending on the lens you're using, you're able to do it. Now, if you're looking at tracking just the person's face, you can set it to face priority, you can set it to face and head priority, and that is in the latest software updates. That was one of the updates that they did with face and head and face alone, as well as eye tracking. I mean, it's Canon's eye, auto eye focus. Their autofocus is amazing. When it comes to the photography, think of it as just as fast and just as sticky as any other Canon EOS R lineup as far as their eye tracking. It's very good. I've had zero issues with this camera as far as autofocus and tracking. When I first got the camera, I wasn't used to the cinema system as I was used to their video system and their regular mirrorless cameras. Took a little while for me to get the settings the way I like it. The menus are fully customizable. All of your buttons are fully customizable. There's 13 buttons that you can customize to your liking. Again, the setup that I have is a direct exact copy of Def Director. He's another guy on YouTube and I'll link his channel. I like the way he set up his buttons and I set them up in the same fashion. One of the unique buttons that is in the front of the camera on the lower on the lower front underneath the lens this is a programmable button that i programmed from a different creator josh satlin i i connected this button to when you're viewing your monitor and all of your you know all of your information when you're viewing the little lcd if you go vertical if you're trying to shoot vertical for client work or for yourself and you're having to turn your head just to view the information it's a bit of a pain in the neck there's a button that you can program you can program any button i've programmed the front one now when i press that button all of my menu goes from horizontal to vertical so i'm able to see everything like this all of the all of my text all of my pertinent information my recording format my frames per second my iso everything i'm able to see that on that on that angle as far as i'm concerned this camera handles it all the only issue that I've ever had, which most people complain about, is the battery life. So why is the Canon R5C such a great camera, at least for me and possibly for you? It combines the best of both that Canon creates. I've loved Canon cameras since I started shooting cameras, since I started shooting pictures way back when I was 17 years old. I shot on an old film Canon camera that my father had, loved every second of it. Getting into the digital world has been just a real, real blessing. You have the flexibility of taking as many photos as you want, but you also have the flexibility of learning how to get the best out of your camera. The Canon R5 was already such an amazing camera that so many professional photographers are using for professional shoots worldwide, whether it's portrait, fashion, wedding, product, doesn't matter what it is, or just having it to take personal photos for your, for your friends and family. Canon Cinema System, on the other hand, is another tried and true tested system that's used worldwide. So you really can do whatever you want with this camera. Yes, the battery life sucks. If you're using it for just cinema, it sucks. Rig the camera up, make it a nice nimble rig if you're doing run and gun videography and filmmaking. But you take, take, take it from me, get yourself a battery pack. You don't have to buy the expensive ones. Buy one that's good, get a get a, a bracket that holds it and you're good to go. You can film all day. The biggest drawback would be your SD cards. If you got a big powerful SD card, 500, uh, a terabyte, two terabyte, you know, Angel Bird card or whatever the best companies out there, then you're never gonna run out of space and you're never gonna run out of power. On the whole, I really enjoy using this camera. I was using the R6 for both personal and professional work for over a year, and I had to get this camera as a second camera because I was on video projects. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was on video projects and the camera was overheating, and it's very difficult to explain to a customer, hey, I need 20 minutes before we start, especially if they're in the middle of a take and the video camera shuts off and they're literally spilling their guts and telling a life story, whatever it is. It's not professional. Even if people in the profession make mistakes, this is one less thing you have to worry about. 
maybe this is the one for you, maybe not. Maybe this video has helped you out with you know some sample images here and some sample video clips. I love the camera. It's small, it's nimble, it packs really, really tiny, and it also becomes a nice handheld rig or a rig on the tripod like I have it here. That's it for me today. If you liked this video and it, and it gave you any value, if you gleaned any information out of this, please hit the like button and subscribe. Over 75% of you guys, by the way, aren't subscribed and you're tuning in, which I love. Thank you for checking it out. If you hit the subscribe button and continue to watch, share and like these videos, it would mean the world to me and it really helps the channel grow. Other than that, go out, shoot some film, go out and take some photos. Have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Take it easy.